Welcome everyone to, of course, the strongest region in the world for Mobile Legends Bang Bang. It's us again for another episode of The Road to M5. And we're here to bring you another special guest. But before that, this would not be possible without our official partner, our teleco partner, Smart Manjean. How are we doing? Yo. Have you had some rest, man? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if I can count that as a rest. But Oh, you just hosted, I was, no? I was working from home and then I That's hosted. Right. And I think uh, I had a flu on Monday. Oh. Yeah, back on Monday. But I, I'm fine now. Then again, guys, balik Tagalog muna tayo. Kasi kami ang makakasama nyo para bisitahin ang iba't ibang rehiyon ng MLBB patungo, patungong M5 World Championship. Malapit na gaganapin sa Pilipinas. As you guys know here on the road to M5, every single episode... We feature a different region, Yun. and we have usually are joined by an esteemed guest, either a coach, either a you know part of the casters before, or um, analysts and everything else, and now also, of course, players. So the last episode, if you guys haven't caught it yet, that was with Coach Lyric, who shared his thoughts on the MENA region, and now we're moving a little bit more, right, of course, to another region that we really want to focus on, because, Manjin, this is a very strong region. Right, yes. a very yes, strong region. It's um, kind of risen through the ranks. Of course, we've seen them in the past, but for this episode, we're going to be joined by none other than Lena, and Lena is from a very familiar team, the Burmese Ghouls. Lena, how are you doing? I'm fine, and um, right now our team is preparing for a five-word stage. Here we go, right to the point, right to the topic. It's all about M5, right, Lina? Yes. <laughs> this is the comeback for Burmese schools. Last time we saw this organization uh, was back in 2021, January. Yeah. Oh, wait. Is that 2021? Yes. That was 2021. That was the M2. M2. Yeah. January M2. But that's a different team back then. Yeah. This time, um, it's a new org. It's a revamp. Burmese Ghouls with a new logo and their match up against Mythic um, Seal. Mythic Seal, it went up to game seven. Yeah. Right? And you went on a comeback. You guys made a comeback in uh, game number six and then in game seven. Right now, you're going to M5. Hello, Lina. Welcome. It's our first time meeting each other. You can speak in Burmese if you want. We'll try to understand. We will try to understand. <laughs> Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> Lena, we're going to go ahead and just start because um, obviously even for our listeners here in the Philippines, now this podcast, we, we have listeners from all over because, you know, all eyes on M5. And a lot of people are familiar with Burmese ghouls, like the team, right? But obviously this is a different roster. Yeah. Can, yeah. You, can you share with us how this team of the Burmese ghouls was formed? How did, how did that happen? As first, our team, our team Bum School have chief first runner at AM2. Then a lot of changes occurred and we need to recreate or to get the best form. And now I think this is our current form. That's your current form, okay. Yes. Yeah. So, when, so when when does this happen? When does this happen? Yeah. And uh, 2023. Oh, oh just, just recently. Recent. Yes. Recent. Wow. Okay. So, and did they get you guys from other teams? Were you playing in other teams, like the five of you, or how did they find you guys? And I played Team Mahara, mm -hmm. Team Mahara, okay. and and I pushed the rent Global One. Mm. So Global One on me. which hero? Uh, no, no. Uh, Global Number One ranking. Oh, Global One ranking, just in general. Wow. Yes, you're number yes. one. Wow. Yes. In the mid lane or overall? Yes. Wow. Okay. Yeah, by the way, he's the mid laner. For those listening, uh, yeah. Lena is the mid laner. So who's yeah. your who's your favorite heroes, Lena? Uh, Lunox. Lunox, okay. Lunox, well, okay. That's a specialty. <laughs> yeah, a specialty. specialty. I'm curious about you, Lena. Where did you come from? Uh, why did you choose MLBB? And uh, you told us that they just discovered you because you're a top one global right yes uh 
uh, how does the how did it all happen for you? Um, I like to play game. No, mm-hmm. like the. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, sorry, guy. No, it's okay. Like, it's when okay. did you start? When did you start MLBB? <laughs> like, how long uh, ago did you start? I just knew one year. Just, just one, one year. year. Just one year. Yeah. Wow. And you're already competing <laughs> for no M5. Yes. That's a huge achievement, man. Yeah. That's my favorite game. Yeah. Okay. The, There it is. MLBB is his favorite. So, guys, uh, I'll just translate it to our uh, Tagalog uh, Tagalog viewers. Nice. So, mm-hmm. uh, Go on. Guys, Go on. one year. One year, guys. That's M5 agad. Paano nangyari yun, di ba? Ganun katinde. Malakas. And Naisu, uh, their win is no joke because yeah. they were up against certain players who has more experience than them. Mm-mm. Right? Justin, for example, went on different international tournaments and you guys beat them. How how was that for you? How was the... How did you feel after that? Uh... This is my dream, you know. Okay. If I, and this is my first time MCV was stage, so yeah. I'm excited for it. You know. It's his dream, man. Like I, yes. I, you know, that would be anybody's dream. And imagine playing one year, you no, know? one like one year, a little yeah. bit more. You go compete. You compete against a team that has experience already on the world stage, and you're just that good because you are also a global one. <laughs> and yeah. now he's going. To M5, uh, Lena. Again, you know that's going to be amazing to actually see you guys because <laughs> I, I have to ask as a fan before before I was even casting, I was a fan of Burmese Ghouls when I saw them back in M2. Right now, I know it's a different team, I know it's a different roster, but I am curious, uh, Lena. How do you guys build your chemistry as a team? Right, I'm assuming. Are you at home right now, or are you at a boot camp? Like. How does how does the team build their chemistry? Uh, we build our team chemistry in many other ways, not only the game, and but also staying at the camp. Um, mostly we play football and go some trip together while we are playing. Football. Yes, football. Wow. Football. Oh, well, that's hard. That's like so that... that would that would be like our teams like to play basketball, right? I mean. Yeah. I think Smart Omega is like one of them that loves to play basketball together. Yeah. Diba? Yeah. I think uh, is football the main sport of Myanmar. Lina. What? Sorry. Is football the main sport of Myanmar? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. okay. So everybody loves football. Yes. There we go. What, so how are you at a boot camp right now, Lina? Or are you at home? Uh, not in, in camp. You're in camp. Yep. So you guys are like preparing right now for yes, yes. for M5 and everything. Okay. Did you get a chance to like rest at, at all? Uh, three days, like three days. Three days. Just three days. Yes. Okay. So for <laughs> three least, days, did you for three days did you play football and then you go MLBB now? <laughs> I know. I don't play. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, at least you got a rest, no? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm curious, uh, Lina, because uh, back in Sea Games, uh, I met the other players. I met Justin, I met uh, everyone, and they seem to have a huge problem every time that they lose because, because uh, I'm not sure, please correct us if we are wrong. Uh, The support in Myanmar is not that big in terms of esport. Is that true? Yes. yes. Why is that? Uh, we have no enough support in like esport. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, oh, our family. Our family accept it. Okay. They accept it. Mm, they don't okay. accept it. So it's similar to. Okay. What we've heard from other regions as well. Yeah, Man, it's geez. the same. It's the same. Yeah. 
same problem. Yeah. It's about Which, the stigma. The stigma of, yeah, you know, okay. gaming and uh, everything else, basically, you know, for, for these regions. But um, so do you have support to like, I guess now, if, if mostly families aren't supporting it, and that's why it's not, let's say, so big over there. Why is Myanmar still so good? I mean, you guys are so such a strong region, you know? So I, I have to wonder, like, is there a lot of players of MLBB out there? Like, if, you know, you go to school or you see everybody um, around outside, like, do a lot of people play Mobile Legends? Yes. I think um, Myanmar MLBB community is very huge and a lot of savannah. And the teams in Myanmar are very competitive and and all of them have their own play style and fandom. Yeah, I think you guys have a definitely a, a very particular play style. No man, yes. Gene. Yeah. How how competitive can you be as a as a player? How many hours do you play? Um maybe like six hours. Six or hours. hours. Yes. Six hours. Because uh, Myanmar as a region is always considered as a dark horse in the international scene. Um, despite, despite Myanmar's rather consistent attendance in the international to- tournaments, this is the first time that you're attending one. Do you feel any pressure in the in the M5? Yes. <laughs> There's a But, lot of challenge. Okay, do you consider yeah. yourself as a dark horse in the tournament? Um, <laughs> I can't say it, sorry. It's like a underdog. Like, do you yeah, guys... Like a... Yeah, do you guys think you're like the underdog of M5? Uh, but we prove no matter how the challenge, we can take all down costs. We are hungry for MCV. Okay. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I because I, I remember even back when, um, <laughs> back in uh, MSC 2022, when we first saw like even Falcon, for example, a lot of people were like, "This is kind of like an underdog or like a dark horse team," and then they, you know, proved to be very very strong. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if that's a similar thing, Manjin, for you know M5 uh, with Burmese ghouls, you know. Yeah, we're not sure because last time we saw Burmese ghouls. I think it's the same story uh, with this team, uh, and then we're always hyped with everything that Myanmar has to offer. Like for example, uh, we have Burmese Ghouls, and then we have Team Falcon, yeah. and then right after that on the Sea Games, we had a mix of uh, players. Yeah, it was also a mix. with also with uh, Ruby DD. What inspires you to play, uh, Lina? What's your inspiration? Uh, like like what? Or you just love the game? Like do you just yeah? Do you just love gaming? Is that why you know you were inspired to play MLBB? Yes, yes. Uh, we love to play game, and uh... sorry, sorry. No, you're good. It's you just, okay. You just love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Don't... clear. You just love to play. Yes. Can I? Can you actually? <laughs> Sorry, what is the what is the language in Myanmar called? What is uh Burmese. 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 Can you say it in Burmese? What inspired you to play? I just want to hear uh hear you say it in Burmese. Yeah. Um Yeah, Gainsu are Yan Chai Yan Chai Day. Um Bio Mitazu in a Takan Lobi or Soja. Yes, this Okay. I feel it. Okay. <laughs> He loves the game. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Lina, we don't have any auto-translate here yeah. in our podcast. But for sure, your Myanmar fans, they understood it. They understood it. They understood. You're great. You're great. We're so happy that you're part of M5. Any mm-hmm. challenges that you guys encountered uh, in the tournament for securing your M5 slot? Yes, uh, there's a lot of challenges. Mm-hmm. Mm, but we prove no matter how the challenge, uh, we can take all down. Okay. Yeah, I think Is they're it, going yeah. in with the same attitude. You know, for M5, yeah. no matter how hard the the challenge is, even if this is like the you know strong strong regions out there, I think they're ready to take on the challenge, man. You know. Okay. 
Okay. There, okay. there's uh, a there hello, go. familiar he's face. The manager, he's here. The manager. Bjorn. Bjorn. Come on. Hello. Hi. I, I guess yeah. I guess he can't hear us because he has head, head the headphones on. Headphones. But yeah. Right, um, can, can he introduce himself first? Lena, can you transfer the headphones to your manager? Okay. 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 All right. Nice. So this is the manager Tura. Manager uh, yeah. Tura. 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 Yeah, my real name is Tura Tezo. All but, right. Tezo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this yeah, is yeah, just to yeah. add, of course, add a clearer perspective of everything. Uh, going back, specifically, uh, we want to know because uh, uh, Lena said that you had a lot of challenges. And no matter what the challenge is, you're, you are willing to face it. But specifically, what are those? What happened? What are the challenges? Uh, like... We need to find the uh, diva lineup and uh, gambling time, uh, such as. Mm -mm. So basically, finding the right lineup that works for you guys was yeah. one of the challenges, right? I think yeah, yeah, shared yeah. that shared us with that yeah. also, yeah. Um, because we, we, you know, as fans of. Burmese ghouls and we know that there's a lot of fans even here in the Philippines you know they're wondering how did this how did this lineup of Burmese ghouls happen I think that's one of the biggest questions for a lot of people um you know and and Lena shared with us that they just you guys just contacted them right and Lena was one of the highest ranked players yeah. so you guys got them and is that is that what it was like you just found all these players put them together and let's do our best of course, of course. yes we we have prepared um, with uh, serious training and um, nowhere to go out and we only stay at can for at least three months three, three months. months yeah yeah okay wow that so three months the qualifier was how long how long was the m5 qualifier for myanmar total uh, like uh it is around out uh september but september. Uh, we, we joined our camp at may okay. oh wow yeah to may wow. june july so, okay wow okay three months yeah yeah uh, yeah that was a while then so now if since you guys are done and the next thing the next thing is m5 right there's no cost yeah, yeah. Then. so are you how, are you guys just in the boot camp just practicing every day is that is that the plan right now yeah it's it, it's everything it's okay. um, before we win the game mm -mm. Mm -hmm. okay um coach i uh, sorry manager tura and uh, lena uh we had a inside scoop right here uh the production team told us that you guys uh you like to climb mountains is that right uh, you, you yeah, guys yeah, love yeah. to hike. Yeah, we, we go, hiking. we go, we go hiking together as a team to create the team walk and and more and so on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what we were looking for when we asked. You yeah. know, how do they how do they bond um, like outside yeah. of the game? So, so you guys go hiking. Besides football, besides football, uh, yeah. guys, my hiking then. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's great. <laughs> That's great for synergy. Before, yeah. I mean, now in the Philippines, it's kind of hard to hike. But before, yeah, I loved, yeah. I loved hiking. You know. Anyways, uh, I think uh, we can uh, proceed uh, because, uh, guys, uh, we need to talk about M5, right? M5, mm. and I think uh, Burmese ghouls they have a lot of expectations for the roster. Uh, is it? true because a lot of people are saying uh, that in your country it's really hard to play esports it's really hard to play MLBB uh, is that uh, the main th uh, challenge for you that you're really, uh, your country is really strict right now in terms of 
uh, the tournaments and everything. Uh-huh. Yeah, oh. How can I say? Be- because last time, uh, our guest, uh, Coach Dale, he also yeah, co- it... he coached for... Yeah, Falcon Esports. Yeah. yeah, for Falcon. And he said that... <laughs> and he said that uh, it's really hard in Myanmar because first of yeah. all, the parents, they don't accept the yeah, yeah. Uh, they don't accept the game plus there's no support in the activities in the tournaments how do you cope up with that uh like you said many parents in our country that can't accept playing game mm-hmm. but uh right now some of them can accept it because of our our development tournament and uh, how can just, I say? Uh, yeah, you know, like just okay. the environment. Yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. just the environment. It's it's very tough to you know do esports yeah. in general. I, f- I feel like over there, which is yeah. amazing. The fact that you have such a strong team, you know, in in Myanmar, not just you know now with Burmese schools, but even in the past, right? Like despite all the challenges. And I think that's why it's important too that our listeners know, you know, with what Lena said, uh, how no matter the challenge, they're willing to overcome it. And I think this, like the region of Myanmar alone is probably one of the most challenging regions to be in if you are an MLBB fan. And yeah, if you want uh-huh. to actually get to this point, I think that's something that really needs to be um, said. And so just the journey alone to get to M5 is uh-huh. a crazy hike up its own hill like because this whole yeah, podcast yeah. is about the road to m5 i think you guys yeah. had a hike to m5 you know? <laughs> so uh a, a huge amount of respect to you guys because um just the environment alone of what you've been through so you know when you get to m5 uh which by the way when do you guys plan to come to the philippines maybe last week of november Last week of November, November. So, yeah. Okay, so you're gonna do the majority of your training there, in Myanmar. Yeah. Okay. And then you'll do a little bit in the Philippines. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll... Okay. So they're not part of MPLI, right? You guys are not part of MPLI. I don't I, think. So. I, I I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And even the wild card, because they're already in M5. But how about the other team? Is the other team part of the wild card also? Uh no, they just okay. had the one. Yeah, they just had just the one, one team. Okay. So um, yeah, no wait, second wait. place wild card. Okay, wait a moment, Nai. So I need to ask this to the manager and to Lina. All Go right. So you guys are coming in the Philippines uh, for the last week of November, and since you guys are international players, are considered international players for us, uh, we have a challenge for you guys. The challenge. Yes. It's what called kind of challenge? Yes. It's uh, called the Balut Challenge. The Balut. Do you guys know the, what Balut is? Uh, no, I don't know. That. Okay, good. Good. It's okay <laughs> that you don't know what Balut is. Yes. Okay. It's baby moth. It's a food. It's a food. It's food. It's a street food in the Philippines. It's uh-huh. an it's an exotic street food. It's good. Yes and no. <laughs> it's up to you I'll, to I'll, decide. Uh, but okay, so manager, uh, manager. Sorry, I forgot. I forgot your uh, your name. Yeah, manager. Ma- Thura. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you accept the challenge? Yeah, I did not can try it. So okay. he's gonna do it instead of yeah. Lena. <laughs> no, the, Lena also. Can you please Alina's transfer also the headset to Lena? Lina, or you can okay. tell Lena. You can tell Lena also. Yes, just tell Lena about the challenge. So Lena, uh, yes. since you are inter- an international player and you're coming here in the Philippines in the last week of uh, November, <laughs> uh, we have ourselves a challenge for you. It is called the Balut Challenge. Do you accept? <laughs> Sorry, what? What the 
Balut? What is balut? Yeah. Okay. Nice. What is a balut, Naisu? A balut is a food. It's an exotic food. food. Yeah. Yes. So okay. you'll join your manager in the challenge for in, in the Philippines. Both of you will do it. He accepted uh, already. How about Yeah, you? he accepted. Uh, is that was Philippines Indonesia food? It's Philippine. Yeah, it's a Philippine yes. food. Oh, Philippine food. Yes, yes. Okay. There you go. Sealed. Sealed. Deal. You see. We 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 the challenge AC every double. guest. We challenge every guest for this for this challenge. So all our guests on this road to to M5 podcast, Lena, will do this challenge. No one has said no. Everybody has said yes. Yes. <laughs> so you're the first Myanmar person who accepted the challenge. So before your match, we will hand it, we will hand you over the balut, <laughs> and you will eat the balut, and it will make you stronger. Okay. 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 Thank you. All right. All right. Let's proceed. Maybe to the M5 yeah, yeah. questions. Yeah. So okay. if you want to, Lena, you can answer this, or you can also ask um, Manager Thura to help you out if you want to. Okay. Okay. Um, what we're gonna do is basically I'm going to ask you. You know all the teams competing in M5. Are you familiar with all of them or yes. majority? Okay. So what we're going to do um, is we're going to ask you to make ca- like basically a category, right? Uh, this is going to be, you can do three teams for each category if you want, and we will have a total of three categories, okay? So all in all, all together, we should have like nine. So three, three, three. So for the first one, it's world's best, right? These are the teams and regions who are possibly going to win M5, Okay, the best of the best, they'll likely finish in the top three. Then the next category, we have the challengers. Now, this could be the best, but they still have to prove their worth, right? And then the last category is going to be, they're just, uh, we're happy to be here. You know, those teams that they're just happy to be an M5. So those are our categories. World's best, the challengers, the happy to be here. So okay. I'll ask you to choose three teams for each category, okay? So we'll start with world's best. Who are your top three teams, basically, for M5? Okay. Uh, I think Onik, Onik Indo, the first. Okay. And Echo, PH, second. Geekfam Indo, third. Geekfam Indo? Yes. Okay, so... Not okay. Burmese ghouls? No Burmese ghouls? <laughs> no. Okay, he is right. humble. He's, he's humble, humble, he's humble. He's okay. humble. Okay. Why did you pick those teams? And I, I think they are the stronger thing right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who is uh, the, who, who is the player from those teams that uh, are you expecting to perform? Kyrie. Or who do you want to beat? Kyrie. Or what? What? Kyrie. 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 So Kai! you want Kai? <laughs> so, do you, so it means that you want to beat Kyrie. And no, I want to meet Sans. Oh, okay. Oh, Just he to, wants meet. to meet Sans. Yes. Okay. But to beat, no? No. Okay. Just to meet, not to beat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. so it was Onik Esports. It was Onik ID, um, Echo, and then Geek, Geek Fam Geek was Fam. the third, right? Geek, Geek yes. Fam. Okay. Geek Fam. So let's go then to the next category the challengers. This can be three teams also. Like, who might get to that top three or who might win or what you know they're the challengers they still have to prove their worth um as for challengers i think um Ligern from mongolia oh from mongolia okay. okay yes do you have two more uh there's two more of some. uh wait a moment <laughs> it's yeah, okay you, so, if you take you your some. time See you soon. See you soon. See you soon. See you soon. Okay. And your third team for the challengers. Uh, Bami School. Yeah. Okay. Burmese, I was, okay. I that's was, it. <laughs> I was wondering, man, Gene. <laughs> so, they have to be. They have yeah. to be there. Yeah. I think everybody is. I think everybody would say that the Burmese Ghouls or a team from Myanmar in general yeah. is a challenger. Yeah, considered to be a challenger. Yeah. I think this is uh their. Fourth M5, I think what they they fourth M they, series, fourth. I'm not sure. 
I think they Where's missed. Or oh, so they fixed. missed one. I'm not good with math at this yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Gene. Do you agree with that, uh, manager? <laughs> Does your manager agree? Yes, yes. Does he agree? What? Sorry. Does he agree? Does he think the same? Like the same teams? You can ask him. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you can ask him. Yes. Okay. He is happy. Okay. 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 So we have the last category uh, for you here, Lena, and these are three teams again that are just happy to be an M5. So okay. who do you think those three are? Um, I, I don't know about it, and I can't guess where. So, but I skip it. He wants to skip. Yeah. Okay, we'll just keep it at that. Yeah, everybody's, yeah. you know, I think at the end of the day, everybody's just happy like, to be an M5. Everyone man. is happy to be to be there, <laughs> except for yeah. them, because they are challengers. They're the challengers. Okay, okay. I have an additional question, I still, to make things spicy. Go. Okay. Go for it. Okay, uh, Lena, this is not in the script, but I will ask you this. Uh, can you give me your top three players that you want to beat? Like you want to win over them. You want to beat. Okay. Uh, first, Kyrie. Kyrie, okay, number one. Kyrie, mm, second. Second. Sans. 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 Uh, that got maybe from Echo. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh, Oheb. 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 Oheb, yes. Oheb, wow. Oheb. Okay. Wow, all right, all right. So that's from uh, Blacklist, International. Blacklist International. Yes, yes. Again, uh, we're shooting this uh, uh, on October 19. 19, yep. So we don't so we don't know we who. We don't know yet. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know yet from the Philippines who will be representing the Philippines in M5, but you know maybe Black International pulls through and they get there, right? Yeah. So th um, these three players are number one Kyrie. Kyrie. Number two Sands. Sands. And number three Oheb. Can Oheb. I ask why? Why are those the players that you choose? And um, they beat first, me at. Yes, Kyrie first. Okay. And or then uh. Beat me at screen. Ah, uh, scrim. Yes, yes. Ah, uh, <laughs> okay. so he's got a vendetta, Manji. Yes. That's why he wants to get the revenge, and on the world stage, that's yes. where he wants it. Yes. Okay. So you guys do a lot of scrimmages with them. Okay, I get it now. I get it now. Yeah. So we're gonna expect it. Okay, uh, Skyri for sure will come to M five, and you for sure will be there. And we will uh, we will watch out for your matchup. I hope that it happens. Thank you, Lena. Lena, I'm curious. Aside from Lunox, who else? What? Give me like two more heroes that you really like. Uh, Valentina. Wow. Uh, Faramis. And Faramis. Okay. Yes. Okay. See, you know, Manjin, That's why I'm expecting like Burmese ghouls to bring that that shake up in the meta yeah because like just hearing that he loves lunox and valentina i don't know if you're gonna play it in m5 you know hopefully that you guys have these interesting surprise picks because yeah. i think that's gonna be awesome for just the whole scene so yeah. uh i think moving on let's go ahead and just we're gonna throw this out there you already gave us the categories right lena yes so next i want to ask you basically how do you think Burmese ghouls will do against the Filipino representatives or the rest of the world? Like, how do you think you guys will compare against even those top three teams, which was technically Indonesia and Philippines? How do you think Burmese ghouls, Myanmar, will do? Yeah, I don't dare to do it, but and I believe we will achieve the same success as our hard work. Okay. Okay. So there it, depends it is. Depends on their hard work. Depends on the work. Again, okay. A, okay. a team in a country known for the challenges, yeah. they're ready to rise for the challenge, man. Okay. And finally, uh, Lina, uh, this is a bold statement, okay, from you. What placement will you get in M5? Uh, I think. Top three. 
Top three. Top three. Okay. okay. I think that's that's a solid uh, forecast, man. If you again, it's yeah. fearless forecast, right? Top three. So your biggest challenges, you're thinking the biggest challenges are Indonesia and Philippines. Yes. Okay. I'm so excited, Naisu, because so, sometimes Myanmar, they pull off some of the uh, unorthodox heroes. Like, for example, they put Lunox on the map, as I remember. That was uh, yep. Ruby DD, right? Back in yes, yes. M2. And right now, it's going to be Lina. So we're so excited for you guys to come here. Yeah. Lina, I have to ask you as a mid laner, do you like Gord? <laughs> yes, yes, I love. Okay. You love Gord? Yeah, there yeah. we go. <laughs> That's awesome. So... I was I was number one in the world. So oh. I hope I hope you get to I hope you get to play Gord, maybe an M5, because he's in the meta now, right? So but of course my statement still stands. I cannot wait to watch Myanmar play. Because uh there's always surprises and so can we can we at least say like do we expect to see Lunox in the M5 stage? No, I try I try hard to play Lunox in M5. Okay. And Gord. And Gord. There yeah. we go. And Gord. Okay. Awesome. So Manjean, I think this is we were, we already threw the challenge, you know, out there to yeah. to them. So um I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this up, Lena. You of know, I, we we are very happy that you're able to join us, you yeah, know, and, and yeah. um, we know that we know that it's really hard for the language, but mm -hmm. we appreciate that you you guys did your best also. So, thank you so much. Yes. Yeah. We uh we appreciate it. We know we this is something actually that we've had to uh work with with our other guests too because um you know from around the world if the english isn't the first language but we just we really appreciate you guys taking the time to to join us and share with us some of your insights you know and i i know a lot of especially people here in the philippines can't wait to see you guys as well uh not just that but also to watch you guys play to meet you guys and, and see how you do right because uh, yes. you guys have a ton of fans now before we say our goodbyes lena is there anything you want to like a final message or shout outs. You can do it in, in Burmese if you want to. You can say it in English if you want to. You can do both. Um, I'll leave that to you. Yeah. Uh, Spool S for our team and we don't let you down no matter how the situation are challenging. And we go always and we are coming to Philippines. See you soon. Okay. Uh, I have a final, uh, final request. What is your battle cry? Uh, What's a ghost? Always ghost. Okay. Okay. Once can we, a, once what, a ghoul, what, once always a ghoul. Always ghoul. Ghoul. Okay. Can right. we do it together? Can we do it together? Can you give us an example? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. I'll count to three. I'll count We're to three. We're putting our hands. Okay. Let's right. let's put our hands together in the screen. All right. One, one two, two, three. three. Once, once a ghoul. Once a ghoul. Always ghoul. Always a ghoul. Always there ghouls. You go. okay. There we go. Yeah, now we know. Like, I, I was wondering that too. Good question, man, Gene. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it, by the way, Lita, is there anything that you know your manager Thori wants to share with us as well before before we say our goodbyes? Maybe you wanna just ask him. Welcome back. Uh, yeah. Hello. Yeah, we we just wanted to know if you wanted to go ahead and give any final messages or, or shout outs. Uh, you can do it in English. You can do it in Burmese if you want before we uh, wrap up here. Yeah, I just want to say sport as in a fight as as Myanmar represented. God, we are trying a lot and we are preparing a lot for a fight. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, thank you again. Uh, as I just uh, told Lena as well, me and Manjean, we really appreciate you guys taking the time to join us here. I know, you know, there's the whole language yeah. barrier and everything, but you guys are amazing and we can't wait to see you guys out here in the Philippines. Okay. 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 Thank so, you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. But uh, we're going to wrap it up here, guys. Thank you for joining us in this episode. Once again, this would not be possible without our official teleco partner, Smart. And again, this was an episode focusing on the road to M5 
for yeah. Myanmar. We are joined here by Burmese Ghouls. Lena, he's the mid laner, also the manager, manager of Thura. Great to have you guys once again. Manjin, any final words here? Ang uh, natutunan ko dito is uh, Naisu is hindi nga ganun katinde yung support sa kanila. And nakita naman natin yun sa interview. No? So to summarize lahat-lahat lang, no? So, so nakita natin yun sa interview, guys. At maging yung language barrier meron. Pero na-appreciate namin na nag effort sila. At yun din yung maganda dyan. Aabangan natin ang Burmese Ghouls sa M5. Once a ghoul, always a always ghoul. Always a ghoul. Yo, and love it, love it, love it. Again, guys, mm-hmm. thank you so much for joining us in this episode. Please do follow, rate the podcast on the official channels, of course, of the MPL Philippines and also on the Spotify account. Leave your comments down below. We know there is also a lot of Myanmar fans out there. So thank you guys for listening or watching, whichever you're doing. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Till then.